Welcome to another edition of Radio Free and Decipher. Uh, I'm Kyle Hoyer. I'm Evan Lorenz. Yeah, and with us is Trevor Hinckley. Trevor, how are you doing so far today? Doing all right, Kyle. Thanks. Excellent. Well, we got a lot of tournament stuff to talk with Trevor today. Um, but you know, first, a lot of people out there might na- might right now be going to like, who's Trevor Hinckley? Oh, that's um, true. Which would be important. Sure. Trevor is um, one of our interns here, and Trevor's been helping out uh, Dan Bojanowski. Um, with the tournament stuff and, and stuff. Trevor, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you've been doing? Well, pretty much um, I, I've been doing all the stuff that Dan doesn't want to do. <laughs> so, I get right. to go around and uh, look into tournament directors and see what they're doing, send out the prize support, send out right. all those Mind Memorial foils that we sent out last year. Oh, Trevor that was is a, the man. Yeah, that was a huge promotion that ran from like mid-April to, oh. no, mid-March to mid-April, right? Yes. Yes. And that involved ultimately thousands of tournaments? That would be me, yes. Oh. Uh, that would be three Poor foils. Trevor. Three foils in one envelope to each of those tournaments. Oh, right. geez. Well, Trevor, I'll tell you what, we're going to get back to you in a little bit, but first we've got some other stuff to cover. You, first you can which, interject your witty repartee here. Yeah, please do. Excellent. Excellent. Please do. Excellent. Excellent. Please do. First of all, um, spoiler day. Spoiler day. Somebody keenly noted at one point that we, uh, annual spoiler day, for those of you who have been listening to RFD for, for more than a year, ha- has come and gone. <laughs> All three of you. Yes. Um, and, and said, when is there going to be spoiler day? Well, obviously we, we don't have much we can spoil right yeah, it, now. It's kind of like the annual anniversary I, right now of spoiler day. I suppose I could bring down like the Star Trek RPG book and we could like read you a passage from it, but I, I don't think that's quite what you had in mind. Yeah, exactly. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn spoiler day into a floating holiday, and the next time that we have spoilers available, we are going to bring those to you and have a lot of fun. Yes. So. But uh, unfortunately, we don't have any for you right yes. now. Speaking of the Star Trek RPG. Oh, nice segue. Thank you. Um, that's coming out next week. That's April right. 24th is right. release date, and uh, I'm really excited about that. Are you going to be running a campaign for us? I don't know. Um, I, there are other people who are more suited to narrator-type duties, I, I think, oh, in yeah? the group. But uh, I, the books have arrived in the office. We've got some samples. Very slick. I'm thinking Gorn for me. Yeah. Trevor, have you seen one? The, uh, yeah, the RPG book. book. You know, uh, Sean actually stole that out before I could see it. So. I noticed that he's like put it on his bookshelf and yes. made it part of like <laughs> yeah. his personal library. That's exactly. Oh, it. I didn't want to get too close to it, um, but I did see the uh, initial version of it, yeah. which was very nice. So cool, excellent. excellent. Um, it comes out this Wednesday. Yes. Yeah. This will so be watching for that Star Trek RPG this Wednesday and, and last week. Yes, on the on this Wednesday. Week. Uh, we had the release of the motion pictures yep. following a weekend of pre-releases that did I hear went pretty well. Did you get the uh, Ultra Rare yet? No, I don't have it. Joe Allery, the, the other Pulled designer it. who worked on the set, he got one. But, uh, not me. Uh, well, you know, you lose. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. Very good. Um, one other thing, uh, we're going to talk to Trevor here in a little bit about some World Cup stuff, but before we get to that, okay. one more programming note or, or rules note for the tournament players out there is that the rule of four kicked into effect on on Thursday. Yes. So um, it's now a uh, real rule that happens in every right. tournament you go play in. The Lord of the Rings rule of four. So um, if you don't know what that is, please check out our most current rulings document for uh, all the information on that basis. Actually, you can't, you can't draw more than four cards during the fellowship right. phase. Actually, that's a good uh, uh, point to remind Star Trek players out there because they will not yet have... Uh, really had anything that affects them, that the policy of uh, rules and cards not going into effect until a week after their release. So those motion picture cards you may have picked up already are not tournament legal this coming weekend. That's right. So be aware of that. Good, good eye. Yeah, good eye. Gives all you right. time to work on your Sona deck and your Con deck and all that stuff. That's right. That's right. All, all right. right. Uh, World Cup. Uh, an announcement went up on Decipher.com today that we are including two more of the DGMA. DGMA, Decipher's Game Management Authority, yes. is uh, including two more teams into the World Cup. And these are basically kind of wild card teams okay. where um, anybody who is ranked in the top 100 players in the world that did not make their national team, uh-huh. so was not one of the top three rated players in their country, okay. but is still in the top 100 players in the world, they will be uh, put into a random drawing that will happen here on Radio Free Decipher on uh, August, August 19th. 19th. right? To uh, you know, to see if they um, 
get, make one of those two teams. Now, one of the team's names is uh, Rivendell, and the other is Lothlorien. We're kind of calling them the Sanctuary team because, you know, in that game, those are the two Sanctuary. That's witty. Yeah, it's kind of witty. So, uh, Trevor, you've been doing some stuff for the um, World, Cup. World Cup. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what that is? You betcha. Well, pretty much, I have been watchdogging all the tournaments and tournament directors as much <laughs> as possible. You're the police. I You're the decipher police. The decipher um, um, the black ops unit. The, you got it. I am the one who sits behind the computer clicking a little mouse watching you people out there. Yikes. So, uh, you know, if, if you're doing something a little sneaky there... Phony tournaments out. to get free foils. Phony tournaments to get free foils. Trevor, is that your oh. is that your least favorite since oh, the foil thing was yours? You know, there there's <laughs> been a couple of things like that where uh, get a couple of tournaments return or foils returned saying, oh by the way, uh, didn't get the right mm-hmm. ones. And, you know, it, it, I sent out a lot of those. Yeah. Yeah. And um, like to think that I did a pretty good job, but. So really, Trevor, you're helping to keep the system, you know, with integrity so that when we go and take these top rated players and, and form these teams Exactly. It um, will mean something. Exactly. <laughs> now you have actually um discovered erroneous tournament directors, erroneous tournaments, yes. uh yes. ratings inflators, yes. foil nabbers. Yes. All kinds of fun stuff. I don't usually refer to them like that, but sure. uh, <laughs> yes, I have found them. And a little bit more, you know, more expletive. Yeah, yeah. a little, a little <laughs> rule of four right there. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, we have been uh, slowly weeding out the system, so we are, uh, corruption level is reducing. Oh, nice. If anybody We're removing burdens. That's right. That's right. <laughs> if anybody um, might have noticed, some teams didn't do as well this. Uh, last World Cup uh, monthly standings as oh, they really? did last month's uh, monthly standing, and um, part of that drop in points were, I think, due to you know, Trevor's um, bird yeah. dogging. Bird dogging, burden removing, whatever you'd like to yeah. refer to it as. Trevor, Trevor is the decipher burden removal. Nice. He's like okay. Sam. I'm, I'm Sam. Yep. He's Sam here at Decipher. I have a question for you, Trevor. Yes, sir. Does it detract, you think, from your ability to enjoy the game? Uh, I, I mean, this is a good question to ask an intern because uh, <laughs> we get asked it a lot as, as Decipher, you know, full-time employees. Sure. Does, does being here and dealing with it every day kind of attract, uh, take away from your ability to enjoy the game? I would have to say no. The, the, the game is still enjoyable. Yeah. Um, some of the uh, the factors surrounding the game aren't so enjoyable. Yeah. Uh, I I never want to input more tournament results in my life. <laughs> ever. <laughs> ever. So uh, you're not going to be doing much TV work for a little while after you leave. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe a little behind the scenes stuff, a little okay. guidance okay. here and there. But uh, no, no, no entering for Trevor. <laughs> Trevor was playing uh, in a multiplayer game today during lunch. Yeah. yeah. He, uh, I think you took Kendrick down. I, you know, I took Kendrick down, and then my fellowship just kind of squeaked right past Sean's. Uh, oh, you, you beat him, huh? Oh, I beat Sean. I oh, beat them both. Good, good yeah. job. Thank you. Hobbits couldn't stand up to the Urukai, huh? Uh, there was a lot of red. Ah, gotcha. A lot of red. <laughs> yeah. A lot of red on those Hobbits. <laughs> yeah. So. Good stuff. What, now, you're you're doing other things here for Dan as well. Yes, um, helping him out with the uh, Territorial Open Championship stuff. Okay. Um, as a sl- slight little uh, interest topic there, uh, we have released the championship venues out to the companies and businesses mm-hmm. that have signed up for it. So okay. So those if, people... If they're getting it, right. they know it. So okay. those people that have submitted applications for the territorial opens and have been selected have been notified of who got them. That's much better wording than I had. Sure, yes. sure. Okay. Yes. That's my job uh, here. There you go. Additionally, <laughs> and if you'd like to reword this, please. Sure. Uh, <laughs> additionally, the Lord of the Rings product champions have also been notified of the list. That uh, was as well the, worded. As well, as well worded. the Star Trek Thank product you. champions, because I saw oh, that message right. come ah. across the list. Ah. See, I'm not, I'm not really on that list. That's all right. Yeah. Excellent. Talk to somebody about that. Okay. Excellent. Now, um, when do the rest of the population get to see this? I believe there's going to be an announcement on Decipher.com in the in the near future, yes. Okay. Excellent. Uh, um, now, I see you got a list there. What's that list? Yes. Well, this list here is the, uh, the places that have currently no applications on file. So, you know, there are a very select few U.S. states and European countries that uh, are just missing out on all the fun here. And is it not too late for them? You know... We did have the deadline, but okay. 
for these select few, we okay. are going to extend it just to give the players an opportunity. Now, I imagine we're not extending it for very long. I have no idea. Uh, that would be that, that would be a Dan Bojanowski. All right. Well, why don't you tell us who we're still looking for? All right. Give well, it to us, Trevor. As far as U.S. states go, we have Arkansas, Hawaii, Louisiana, New Mexico, and Nevada. Nevada. Okay. Nevada. Really? Nevada. Yeah. There's a lot of players in Nevada. There is a huge player base in Nevada that um, didn't speak up for the for the territory. Interesting. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I'm sure that'll be rectified as soon as uh, well. I hope so. I hope so. Uh, European countries, as far as we go. Okay. France has one slot open. Okay, so they're getting multiple. They they do have multiple events, but they have one more that can be assigned. Okay. 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 Iceland. All right. Mm -hmm. Russia. And Slovenia. Okay. Okay. So So now, does Estonia count as Russia, or is that different? You know, I I haven't really been keeping up too well on Again, that. I know that I, we have I, I an Estonian we, volunteer now. Yes, Esto- I, Estonian is that right? I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. Estonese? No, uh, no. Estonian. Okay, my bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> I I do believe they are considered separate for this. Okay. okay. Yes. All right. Well, there you go. Cool. So uh, if you are in one of those states or countries and have an idea about where this venue could be, you might want to. Uh, Start pushing the retailer to make that happen. Talk to the volunteer to make That's that right. happen. You bet. Or you can email Mr. Dan Bojanowski at uh, tournaments at decipher.com. Very nice. That's right. Well, Trevor, unfortunately, you're going to be leaving us soon, aren't you? Yes. Uh, this this is uh, almost the last week. Really? What is this now? Eight days to go? Yeah, that sounds about uh, right. Your yeah. internship is almost up here at the Decipher. Benito. Well, at least we got you on Radio Free Decipher before. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank yes. you. I appreciate that. So, Trevor's also been uh, staying with us, and it's yeah. been a really fun time. And it's going to be sad to see you go, man. Yeah, man. It, it, he's been our extra roommate for like right. three months. Yeah, if uh, you know, somebody doesn't come home one night, I just kind of step in and take the bed for the night. Right. right. Or, or, or help the drunk roommates. Sure, sure. That's right. Trevor, thanks for stopping by. Thank yes. you, gentlemen. And I guess that's going to do it today for yeah. the Free Decipher. Okay. So enjoy the uh, motion pictures. Enjoy the Star Trek role-playing game. Mm-hmm. And uh, we'll see everyone next week.